Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mother of Christ, our hope, our patroness, Star of the sea, our beacon in distress, guide to the shores of everlasting day, God's holy people on their pilgrim way. Virgin by vow, but mother of all grace, chosen by God to be his dwelling place. Blessed are you, God's word you did believe. Your yes undid the no of sinful Eve. Daughter of God, who bore his holy one, Dearest of all, the Christ, your loving Son, show us your face, O Mother, as on earth. Loving us all, you gave our Savior birth. The angel of the Lord brought God's message to Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord's revelation to my Master, sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains, from the womb, before the dawn, I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the streams by the wayside, therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The angel of the Lord brought God's message to Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness, for this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord, I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel, indeed, he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you have said. Let us give thanks to the Lord for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. We were created through him. All were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. So that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him and, by means of him, to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you have said. 
A reading from 1 John, chapter 1. This is what we proclaim to you. What was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked upon and our hands have touched, we speak of the word of life. This life became visible. We have seen and bear witness to it, and we proclaim to you the eternal life that was present to the Father and became visible to us. The Word was made man, and he lived among us. The Word was made man, and he lived among us. He was in the beginning with God, and he lived among us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the Word was made man, and He lived among us. The angel Gabriel said to Mary in greeting, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for He has looked with favor on His lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The angel Gabriel said to Mary in greeting, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. On this day, the Eternal Father sent his angel to bring Mary the good news of our salvation. Let us turn to God and pray with confidence. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. You chose the Virgin Mary as the mother of your son. Have mercy on all who look for your gift of salvation. You sent Gabriel to give Mary your message of peace and joy. Give to the world, the whole world, the joy of salvation and your gift of true peace. Mary gave her consent, the Holy Spirit overshadowed her, and your word came to dwell among us. Teach our hearts that we may welcome Christ as Mary did. You look with love on the humble and fill the hungry with your gifts. Raise up the downcast. Help all in need, comfort and strengthen the dying. Lord our God, you alone work wonders, and with you all things are possible. Give us the fullness of salvation when you raise up the dead on the last day. Let us again offer our praise to God and pray in the words of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, your word became man and was born of the Virgin Mary. May we become more like Jesus Christ, whom we acknowledge as our Redeemer, God and man. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.